Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Phil the Conquista Dork. Okay, let's talk about Lawn Mowing Simulator. Lawn Mowing Simulator is a game developed by Skyhook Games and published by Curve Games. Skyhook Games is best known for Train Simulator, which, as far as I can tell, is a kind of similar almost on rails kind of simulator game. I'm just gonna say it right off the bat, I have no idea why I enjoy this game. I really don't. I'm not gonna act like I am offering this game a nine out of 10 or an eight out of 10, maybe not even a seven out of 10, but the fact of the matter is, is I think I'm getting older. I turned 40 this year. My dad genes are kicking in and I'm starting to really appreciate a well-manicured lawn. <laughs> it's it's exactly the game you think it is. Basically, you start a lawn mowing service somewhere in Great Britain. You go all over the place uh, manicuring and mowing the lawn, accepting money, and slowly building up your business empire. Uh, you eventually can upgrade your HQ and hire employees and buy new, better materials and different styles of lawnmower. I saw someone on Steam refer to this as drive in a circle simulator. Yeah, they're absolutely right. You basically come upon different kinds of lawns. You hit up the bigger aspects of it with your lawnmower. You make sure that you're mowing at the right height. You make sure you don't take too drastic of turns so you don't fuck up their lawn. And then you come in with the edger and you trim down any parts that maybe were a little too detailed for your mower. That's the, that's the whole game. That's the game. And as you're doing this, you're saving money, you're putting money away, and that kind of, it, it, it is kind of mindless, and I think that might be why I like it. Uh, th there are plenty of games this year already that I've been enjoying based on the mindlessness of them. I need a game to relax. It started out as a kid, you'd play a game just to play the game. You play your Super Mario Brothers. It's real simple. You play it to beat it. You probably only own six games and you beat them like a hundred thousand times a pop and you just do it to play the game. As you get older, you want a more complex, fascinating, in-depth journey. Your Skyrims, your Knights of the Old Republics, you know, or you want a game that you can play against a bunch of other people for hours upon hours at, on end, and the game always changes because you're always playing against different people. Your Halo, your Call of Duty, uh, uh, your Overwatch, things like that. And now I've reached a point in my life where I think I'm going back to simple games. I'm still playing complex games, I really am, but the ones that are really helping me get through the day, the ones that I want in my life that I really can't do without right now are games like Lawn Mowing Simulator. It's the simplicity of it. It's the kind of vaguely mindlessness of it. And before you say, why don't you get out and mow your own lawn? It's winter. I absolutely would be mowing my own lawn right now if it weren't for the fact that it's frozen outside and, and then my grass isn't growing and it's a waste of time. I enjoy mowing my lawn now and I'm extending it into my gaming time. I'm not acting like it makes sense. It'll happen to you. And again, this is not like best of the year, game of the year material. Do not buy this game at full price. Just don't. Even if you are champing at the bit to play this game, even if everything I've described sounds perfect for you at the, this point in your life, you're like, yes, I also would like to mindlessly whittle down the grass height of Great Britain. I would also like to take part in this journey. Let me join you. Don't do it until you can get it at like 50% off or something like that. It's good in terms of losing some time and relaxing, playing a podcast that you can really enjoy and just kind of losing yourself for a half hour here and there. But it is not the kind of game that is worth spending $40 on. Just don't do it. This game is not for everyone. 
it's barely for me. I, and yet I find myself mowing a lawn a day. It takes about 20, 30 minutes to do that. I end up doing that, making a few hundred pounds and, uh, and seeing if it's time for me to level up my HQ and hire a new guy to mow lawns to help me out so we can triple our production because I've already got a guy. I've already got a guy. His name's, his name's John. He seems nice. I don't, I don't know much about him. But then again, I don't ask. I never asked him. I don't, I don't. I should get to know John. The controls are a little weird. The only thing that really stands out to me is the acceleration on the lawnmower. Because you can't just go gung-ho, like, pull the trigger and go as fast as possible. You have to actually moderate a little bit to make sure that you don't tear up the grass, which is a weird choice because it's a little too complex for what I would consider like a sit back and relax style gamer. It, it requires a level of focus and concentration that kind of defeats the purpose of what those gamers would be getting into. On the other hand, it's not enough of complexity to make more hardcore kind of people go, oh, actually, this game's got a lot of really cool ins and outs, and it's really, it's, that's not gonna attract anybody. It, I, I feel like they should just, that, that feels like something that should be left behind. Uh, I don't know who it's for. Uh, the game looks good, it sounds good, the landscapes that surround you can be pretty fun pretty interesting especially with the ancient britain dlc you end up uh, mowing lawns in these ancient ruins and uh, beautiful gardens that belong to these mansions and the surrounding uh, uh, area can be really lovely but let's f let's face facts you're barely paying attention to that because you're trying to make sure that you're just on the edge of the lawn so that you don't damage your lawnmower blades because ex fixing those costs 50 pounds and and, and 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 you know that's money that's real money time is money money is money i'm i'm babbling now but i'm just confused i don't know where this game came from i feel like it's kind of a cursed item if i die tomorrow or the day after i want you to know it's the game that did it so keep your eyes opened uh in any case lawn mowing simulator weird fun with a question mark at the end of it a nice way to spend an afternoon something worth looking into take a look I think you'll see what I mean. Who's the extra bitch, Tittle Tattle Tits, the splicer asked in a scratchy voice. And that is almost Dr. Susian, if... Yeah. <laughs> With her tittle tattle tits, she served at the Ritz. <laughs> what? Would you like some bits? Said tittle tattle tits. <laughs> Watch out! It's a flying bar below Schlitz. <laughs> this weird jabberwockian creature flies by, honking like a trumpet. <laughs> And that's and that's what the splicer is seeing in his head all <laughs> Yo, fucking time. It's just Dr. That's Seuss. why that's why he is where he is. <laughs>